Here's why cross multiplication works for solving proportions. Let's say we have 2 over x equals x plus 5 over 7 and x cannot equal 0. This is a proportion because two ratios, 2 to x and x plus 5 to 7, which are represented as fractions, are equal. One way to solve a proportion is by cross multiplication. In this example, if we were to cross multiply, we would multiply 2 by 7 to get 14 and x by x plus 5 to get x squared plus 5x. But why can we do this? Well, let's start from 2 over x equals x plus 5 over 7 again. We can get the denominators of the fractions to be the same by multiplying the numerator and denominator of 2 over x by the denominator of x plus 5 over 7. We will also multiply the numerator and denominator of x plus 5 over 7 by the denominator of 2 over x. Notice that the two fractions now have the same denominator of x times 7, so we can set their new numerators equal. 2 times 7 equals x plus 5 times x. If we simplify, we'll get 14 equals x squared plus 5x, which is the same result we got with cross multiplication. Therefore, cross multiplication skips the part of finding a common denominator, saving us time. In the example, we can solve for x in 14 equals x squared plus 5x to see that x can be negative 7 or 2.